Register Suko identity. Hello, welcome back. I am Nova Commander L1011 Wide Body. We are on mission Balk Obelisk. Balk Obelisk. Because that's a way that you name things. I don't think I like this mission. Even now, enemy units on the surface of the planet Devon Below have engaged our second Falcon Jaegers and the first Striker Cluster. Here on Devon's Boon, McDuff. Oh no, no, no. More moon combat. No, please. Vibro sensors. They can't just be regular sensors, right? Vibro sensors have detected a binary level mobilization to the south. The enemy is intent on finding and taking our isotope processor dome. I do not have good feelings about space and domes. Codename Balkopolisk. Planet Devon's Moon Macduff. Terrain cratered vacuum time dusk. We must blunt the enemy's assault. You are to perform a combat patrol across the south quadrant. Follow your nav sequence and engage and destroy any and all opposition you encounter. Objectives primary destroy any all opposition encountered. Return isotope processor nav by. Situation! How can you believe the wolves will attempt another attack? Look out your canopy! Even now our elementals are rounding up their mech warriors to be used as bondsmen! We have won, Star Captain! Let us return to the command center to report our victory to Star Colonel Hoyt! Star, Cur Star Captain Matthew Von Jenkman stared into the swirling sandstorm. Oh, that's some good writing there. It was true that the wolves had lost many battle mechs to the Falcon's Charlie Trinary, but something felt wrong. The fighting had been fierce at first, then the wolves seemed to lose their taste for combat. Some of their mechs actually ran from the field. Yes, something was definitely wrong. Star Commander Trevor! You will take your star to the northwest quadrant and post a watch for any enemy mechs. Alert me before engaging any opposition, Von Jenkman ordered. I will follow your orders, Star Captain. I guess all the Jade Falcons sound alike in my universe. <laughs> I'll follow your orders, Jade. Uh, Star Captain. <laughs> but you are overestimating the danger here. I am certain that our other units have achieved similar success. Yeah, that's real good. Confidence and immodesty. Von Jenkman was about to rebuke. Trevor for this insubordination when a brilliant orange explosion filled his view screen. He quickly glanced down at his radar, dis radar display but saw only the same meaningless interference that had filled it since the electrical storm began. He looked up just in time to see a line of wolf Omnimex emerging from the swirling sands blowing around him. Von Jankman thumbed the red button on his right joystick. A wave of heat filled his cockpit and set alarms screaming as all the weapons on his mech fired in unison. Alpha Strike! The Timberwolf in front of him staggered and crumpled under the onslaught, but Von Jenkman calculated, calculated that the heat in his mech would not per permit him to fire his weapons again for a full four seconds. That's the length of a turn, I guess. <laughs> Pushing the machine's throttle forward, he twisted the mech toward the north and set it running. Blue bolts of artificial lightning singed its left arm and opened a gaping wound in his right rear torso. And the Star Captain instinctively thrust the controls to the left. A flight of LRMs flashed past his cockpit, and he turned to see the tattered and smoking Timberwolf, next page, approaching him. He triggered the red button once more, watching as twin blue beams carved into the mech's torso and set off a blinding explosion. Oh, you gotta love this writing. It's great. In a not-so-great way. Situation! Didn't I already say that? When Khan Natasha Kerensky reached the Devon system, she reported her total losses so far at just under 32% for mechs and equipment and 8% for personnel. 
but these figures did not reflect the true toll the campaign had taken on her forces. Many of the seriously injured had been sent to the Inner Sphere with Sakan Felon Ward, and only Battlefield Salvage kept many of her mechs operational. Moreover, the fighting of the past month had left many of her more experienced units severely fatigued. Still, several of her clusters had not seen action yet and remained anxious to join the fray. The battle on Devon would provide ample opportunities for fighting and dying, just like Manowar would love. The Falcons had garrisoned the planet with the second Falcon Jaegers and first Striker Cluster, both battle-tested veteran units. Even the weather seemed to challenge mech warriors. Severe electrical storms and high winds ravaged the desert planet, conditions that would render sensors almost useless. Something that we could not have portrayed in the game engine, so we're sticking you on the moon instead. Shortly after the Wolf jump ships entered the Devon system, a malfunctioning sail array delayed the attack force for three days. An omen that seemed to bode ill for the wolves. They can't sail away. Okie dokie. Uh, quick thing, I don't remember if I've mentioned it. Elementals are basically the clan equivalent of uh, what you would call like super marines, I suppose. They're like super engineered to be extra big and beefy, and they have their own power armor to run around in, and it's like, mm, kind of like the Fallout, but not really. It's more like an armor, armored uh, suit. I don't know, what would I say? More like Iron Man's suit, I suppose, would be a better uh, translation, because it's got jump jets and missiles and everything built into it, so that's what elementals are. I believe I faced a few of them. They're rendered in this game as tiny little mechs and not as threatening as they are in the actual game. Also, Bondsmen is the what clans use as prisoners. Instead of taking prisoners, they take Bondsmen. Uh, that means they are enslaved to the particular person who has captured them. So that's great. And they will be enslaved forever and ever. What do we have suggested for us? A Nova! Nova? Stormcrow? Nah, I like the Mad Dog. Hmm. I think the regular Mad Dog should be a good configuration for this. We'll put you in, uh... That looks good. The AI is better at using multiple types of weapons. I think that should work out. You put me back in the Nova, didn't you? Didn't you? What the heck? Are you trying to say something? I know I'm a Nova commander, but that's taking it a little bit literally. Oh, anyway, the uh, significance of the, one of the bondsmen, uh, you can... Uh, if I remember right, you can, if, if you face the right trials, you can escape bonditude and become a regular person again. And that's kind of the deal with Felon Ward. He was a free birth who was taken as a bondsman, and he had sort of a what would you call it, uh, Stockholm Syndrome thing, where he fell in with the wolf types, and eventually he got a blood name and became Felon Kell. Er, no. Felon Kell was his original name, and Felon Ward was his blood name. Ah, uh, if I get that wrong, I'm gonna be torched in the comments again. Let's launch!